Well, good morning. Peter Faneuil was a wealthy merchant in Boston in the 1700s. In fact, he paid for the construction of what became Faneuil Hall because he wanted a central marketplace in the city. And we also know that he worked in a number of businesses and trades, sugar, molasses, wines, timber, according to the official Faneuil Hall website. But his trade also included African slaves. At a time in our country now where there are calls to remove Confederate reminders, there is a call for Faneuil Hall to be renamed. Kevin Peterson with the New Democracy Coalition says it is an embarrassment for the city of Boston to use Faneuil Hall as a place for celebration with a name attached to it like that. I call on the mayor. I'm not scared, Kevin. I'm scared. And I call on the people of goodwill in, in Boston to rename this building so that black people and people of goodwill of all colors can come through this place and feel a sense of civic pride. And this morning we have this video for you from George's Island. This is in Boston Harbor. This right here is believed to be the only Confederate monument in Massachusetts. But as you see in this video, it's been boarded up by wooden planks now. The state cannot take it down because it's considered an historic landmark. Governor Baker says he would like to see it removed from public spaces, but he says he needs to be respectful of the process to try to do that. Province Journal reporting, by the way, that there are no Confederate monuments here in Rhode Island. In the newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.